These fluffy cotton balls flying in the air are clouds. What are clouds made of? Clouds are a collection of very tiny droplets of water. They remain in the sky until they become heavier than the air around them. These droplets of water soon fall back onto Earth's surface. Any form of water falling from the sky is called precipitation. When the temperature is below zero degrees Celsius, the droplets come down as snow, sleet, or hail. What form will precipitation take when the temperature is above zero degrees Celsius? When it's above zero degrees Celsius, we have a rainy day. What would happen if there was too much rain? An excess of rain could cause a flood. Floods can cause a lot of damage. What happens when there is too little rainfall? When there is too little rain, it can result in a serious shortage of water. This can cause a drought. How can we measure how much rain has fallen in an area? We will need to collect the water first, but we don't need to find a gigantic bucket to do that. We use measuring tools, such as a rain gauge, a snow gauge, or a ruler. A rain gauge is a tube that collects rain and has a scale on the side. The height of the water in the tube is measured to figure out the amount of rain in an area. A snow gauge or a ruler is used to measure the amount of snow that has fallen. Uh-oh, the clouds look dark and heavy. Looks like rain. Let's review what we learned today. Any form of water falling from the sky is called precipitation. Precipitation may be in the form of rain, sleet, hail, or snow. We use different tools to measure the amount of precipitation in an area. See if you can make your own rain gauge using simple household materials.